it's going. Hello <laughs> and welcome to another shoutcast from Grey Knight. This is the League of Legends shoutcast number five, I believe. And today's a special one because we are joined by the four court jester over from Heroes of Newith. How are you? How are you, Jester? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing great, Grey Knight. This is quite a, a different game from the Han scene, so I'm kind of interested to see how it all goes down. But I'm up to five games, one hero ever played, and yeah, I'm just excited to see you guys play it you know, live. So I'm quite privileged to be here. Excellent, excellent. Um, so who's your favorite player on uh, LOL at the minute? I've joined, I think, like five games, you know, levels one to ten, kind of <laughs> deal, and they've all been Kogma, and so he, uh, learning his artillery skills, how to use yeah. his poison spit, it's been quite the experience. <laughs> Excellent, right, okay, so it's good to have you with us, let's see how this goes. Um, if you click in enter, I don't know if you can do this on Heroes and Newth, maybe this is just, just for us, you go forward, clap, forward slash and then put dance. You can get your hero to dance. Look at that. It's like magic. What what dance are you doing? Who are you? I am... Who am I? I am... How do I find out? I am... <laughs> <laughs> What's he look like? Though, is not helping me out here. You are... I am Veracity. Oh, Katrina. 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 There we go. Katrina. There we go. Why she <laughs> dance? How's that, how's that looking? Wait, we're not playing, right? No, we're not playing. If you just okay. stay in the somewhere, if you move around, and that's that's your player. If you just move around, and that stops the AFK message oh, later on. Yeah. Okay, we might as well introduce the players on uh, the green team, as we've not quite got a on name for this team. We've got Haya, and uh, she is playing as uh, Evelyn. We've also got Solaris with Master Yi. He's quite an experienced Master Yi player. He's played uh, Master Yi quite a lot. Usually picks his Poppy. He's very strong with Poppy. However, Master Yi is also a good uh, hard carry for late game. Uh, it looks like they're going for a, a triple team in the middle because we've got all three players wandering around the middle. We've got Sacred uh, playing as Ezreal and he's uh, going to be mid laning against Twisted Fate for the enemy team. Unfortunately, we've got a disconnect. I'd be plundering. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> Not a good start for red team. So um, the last pick for the green team is the duck, and he's gone with Amumu right at the bottom on his Todd, on his own. He's, uh, he's going to be leveling up quite fast because he's solo oh. laning. Um, what about your team? Who, who we got on uh, the red team? We have Get Johnson in the middle, who is Twisted Fate, uh, now that I know how to use this tab key. Uh, <laughs> we, and we have two down south, the, the two knights, True Knight and Magic Knight, and he's playing some turtle thing, Ramus, <laughs> as well as Kale. And uh, I don't know where our other guy is. We have, uh, we have a Heimer. Oh yeah, he disconnected. Duh. Yeah, I think I was I... like, where's Heimer? I don't see Heimer. <laughs> He's in stealth. <laughs> yeah, he's in, yeah, he's so stealthy. The game does not even know he's here. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. If you keep your eye on Ramus, he just took a turret shot. T turret shot at the uh, bottom of the screen there. He's actually got a spin ability. I don't know if you've played Ramus yet. He's got this fun sp spin ability similar to Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't know if you're a bit of a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. It does look quite. Oh cool. yeah, that was my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> You should like uh, you should like our Ramis then. Um, with that ability, it starts off um, quite slow, but over time it uh, builds up your movement speed to it pretty much doubles your movement speed at the end of it. So it starts off quite slow, and then uh, you get really really fast during the end of the actual move. And what a lot of players do is they hide in the brush, which is the tall grass, so they stay invisible. Mm -hmm. And they will use that move and wait a couple of seconds to allow that movement speed to build up. And then they will rush out the bush really fast and hit the enemy um, without them be able, being able to respond. Because you really do increase your movement speed by quite a lot. You, you'll get to see that a little later on. And we've got IB Plundering that has reconnected to the game. So we've got back to a 4v4 as opposed to the 3v3 action that we've been looking at. Top lane, we've got Haya and Solaris going to town on the minions. Uh, yeah. As IB Plundering, which is quite a good defensive um, uh, champion there that can hold his own in 2v1 quite easily. Do you have in uh, Heroes of Newest? Um, a player that can kind of 2v1 quite easily, like Engineer or someone like that. 
Well, Heimer reminds me a lot of Engineer. You can throw down those turrets. He has that passive uh, that you can just throw on stuff. So he, he does kind of remind me a lot of that. Um, easy 2v1 heroes will typically be anyone ranged. Uh, Forsaken Archer, uh, Corrupted Disciple, Soul Steer, because they can put out a lot of range damage and they have their own skills that will help them you know, land those kills. Uh, but yeah, I, I was watching Heimer before. He does really remind me of an engineer, if a much shorter and older version of him. <laughs> He's the retired kind of... version of engineer. <laughs> Dwarves get smaller as they get older, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no. Yeah, he's, so he's dancing around up there. Two, 2v1, I suppose. Uh, I don't see Solaris anymore, but uh, Plunderin is taking the lead. I mean, he is solo, so that, that's the advantage there. Yeah, you might want to keep your eye on uh, middle lane. Um, we've mm -hmm. got Gat Johnson. He's going, oh, I got the AFK message of death. Run away. No, run away. Yeah. Um, Wait, I guess recall doesn't dispel that. No, no, I tried. No, you, you actually have to move. If you, you can move via the minimap, though. So if you just move around on the minimap, that should get you moving. Get your blood, plump gotcha. get your blood pumping. Um, yeah, as I was saying before, the, I was very rudely interrupted by the AFK message of death. Um, Get Johnson was on pretty low health uh, in the middle, so um, I, d I hope I don't miss first blood. And because uh, Israel can, he's got a lot of burst damage. He can just quickly annihilate the enemy. It's very dangerous to be on low health around Israel. I know, Israel looks like one of those Final Fantasy punks. Like, personally, <laughs> that's that's what he looks like to me. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. No, I do see. I do see that comparison. Unfortunately, I'm I'm multitasking. I'm trying to be the cameraman and the shoutcaster at the same time, and I'm mm, I'm not hard, I'm eh? not I'm not a girl. I can't multitask. I'm failing quite uh, miserably. <clears throat> right. Uh, I did play a game with this twisted fate, as he's now having a sacred go right in on him. Uh, that giant bow missed, uh, which is a good juke there by Johnson. I assume that would have killed him. Yeah, um, Ezreal, up to level 6. At level 6, you unlock your ultimate ability. So that is uh, Ezreal's ult. It's um, it's a giant bow of fire. Yes. Unfortunately, it's not called giant bow of fire. It's called true shot barrage. <laughs> there we go. Remembered it. It's called true shot barrage from Ezreal there. Hi is going to go down to a double team. Ramesh using taunt. Fantastic stuff. Ramus taking down. <laughs> There's the Sonic ability. Did you catch that? <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> I like it. One of my favourite abilities. Ramus there, low on mana. He has not enough mana to use Taunt again and uh, lock Israel to attack him again. Um, yeah, it's quite mana intensive early game is our Ramus. Uh, with his abilities costing a lot of uh, mana so you can only use a couple of them so you need to be very careful where you use those abilities do you have any equivalent players that um, don't have a lot of mana and have to be careful with the their abilities early early on in the oh anyone really strength based uh, usually has a, a hard time keeping up their mana in the early game but that's why you try to pair them up with you know babysitters or ranged kind of uh, initiators so that they can just get in and make every mana point count, so to speak. Now, yeah. you, you're saying this turtle has taunt. Um, d now, does he have any kind of armor increasing ability when he taunts, or is that just to keep the enemy in the place? Um, the, the taunt ability, um, his passive, Ramis has a passive that um, changes, I think, 25% of his armor into like attack power. So you, with Ramesh, you will often stack armor items because it doesn't just increase your armor, it increases your DPS as well. Mm -hmm. Ramesh has an ability um, called Defensive Curveball, and, uh, or Defensive Curl, and it increases his armor and his magic resistance by a lot, a fair amount. You know, at this stage of the game, it's pretty much double, if not triple, his armor and um, magic, resist magic resistance, which, as I said earlier on, intertwines with his passive quite well. So if you hit that, you do a lot of damage. So what you do, and the normal rotation, you will taunt the enemy, and then you will hit that ability and then taunt the enemy, and that will you will do extra damage if you time gotcha. that correctly. He sounds a very much like a Heroes on Earth guy named Legionnaire. Uh, Legionnaire has the three abilities very close to, to Ramus here. Uh, he will have that taunt, but taunt in Heroes on Earth will also give you additional armor to make up.